Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Mon Precious Nectar from Guerlain. This is a very beloved, gorgeous uh, gourmand fragrance from the house. It's a fragrance that had been on my must-buy list for quite some time. I got it a few months ago and I've been waiting to review it for you guys for just the right moment. So I thought that in between spring and summer would it be a beautiful time to review this fragrance for you guys, talk about how perfect it is, and tell you guys why so many people love and just covet this fragrance. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, you might already know from my little opening, then keep watching. Now this was a purchase from me. I made this purchase. This was not sent to me to review and I have a habit of dropping bottles, so I'm gonna put it over there off to the side while I do this review. Mon Precious Nectar is a fragrance that a lot of people truly love and adore. It's one that gets a lot of praise, especially from gourmand fragrance lovers. It's a beautiful, light, decadent, gorgeous take on a very sweet fragrance without being stickingly sweet. There's a lot of notes in here that I gravitate towards. So there's obviously reasons why I would love this just initially. It has bitter almond, beautiful florals like orange blossoms, and a lot of woods in the base to really give it something to hold on to. What I like about Amon Precious Nectar mostly has to do with the almond and the orange blossom and the sweet lightness that it has. Now I find this fragrance to be a beautiful tribute to just honey. It smells like how you think it would smell based on the color of the bottle. And I'm always very tickled and intrigued when fragrances can smell the way that they look. It's light, it's fizzy, it's slightly boozy from that bitter almond, but not like a boozy rum laden vodka type. It just plays with this honey gorgeously. The best way I could describe it is if you ever see this beautiful piece of honeycomb, and you see like this gorgeous like light golden elixir of honey dripping off of the cone how do you think that would smell and that's how mon precious nectar smells without it being a honey fragrance it's mostly florals in here and i love that the orange blossom is lively and playful and i like the fact that the bitter almond adds this kind of like patissier type of gourmand level of tastiness to this fragrance. And I like that it all comes together in a way that's not crazy powerful. It's light, it dances on your skin, it's very feminine and playful, and it just smells really beautifully, beautiful and effortless. And that's why this fragrance is so good. It's a delicious fragrance for gourmand lovers. It's a beautiful fragrance for floral lovers. And it also has this beautiful presence on the skin that is luxurious and special and opulent. And I think that when I look at your lawn and I look at them as a house and I look at where they have gone or where they've been, where they are at and where they are going, there are a few fragrances to me that really set the stage of this being a house that is tremendous, that is powerful in regards to creating effortlessly, perfectly timeless fragrances. There's always gonna be a few fragrances that don't quite hit the mark but I think Mon Precious Nectar is a beautiful, just kind of timestamp in your lawn's ability to create effortlessly gorgeous, luxurious masterpieces while not taking away from wearability. This is a very wearable fragrance. The white florals are not overpowering. It's not too sweet. It's not too woody. It's not too tasty in regards to being a gourmand. Every, everything is effortlessly in balance. And the nice thing about it too is on the skin, it's light, it's ethereal, it's billowy, and it's a little sparkly. Got a little bit of woods in there to kind of tame the florals and the sweetness. You got a little bit of bitter almond in there, which adds this beautiful, delicious patissier kind of level of scent to it, a little bit of that delicious experience. And you've got these beautiful florals that tame the sweetness as well. It comes together to create something effortlessly beautiful, opulent, luxurious, and also something you can wear and appreciate every day. The reason I wanted to share this fragrance around the springtime, summertime, is that if you like gourmand fragrances, but you tend to not wear them in the summertime, Mon Precious Nectar is perfect. 
the florals in here are just the right flowers that work in hotter climates. The orange blossom is just a beautiful, light, sparkly, gorgeously flirty note. And with everything else, it becomes this beautiful, rich, but still very wearable fragrance that doesn't get lost or muddy in heat and humidity. So if you like flowers for spring, Mon Precious Nectar is beautiful. If you want some gourmands for summer, Mon Precious Nectar is perfect. It's also got enough presence on the skin to work really well in fall and winter. At the end of the day, this fragrance from Guerlain is luxury price. You're looking at spending about $200, $280, just under $300 USD, but it is a fragrance that is well worth that price point based on how it smells its performance and just overall experience. It smells like luxury, it performs like luxury, but at the same time it's wearable and beautiful and very, very special. So that is my review of Mon Precious Nectar from Guerlain. I know a lot of people within the community love this fragrance. Some people don't, so I'd love to know what you guys think. Have you tried this fragrance? Do you agree with my high praise or do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!